Hello, my name is Carla Fernandes. I'm a UX, UI and digital product designer. I am a Bravo expert, a freelancer and a mentor. And today I'm here in partnership with Bravo to bring you how to design and launch your apps in five steps. One, have an idea. Yeah, you know, everyone has an idea. <laughs> like, oh, at least should have one when you want to start an app. I, can, I had several one of my own. I have uh, also just done research and see what's out there that I was interested to me. So it's for you to create an idea, you have to stimulate your brain, think differently. Uh, you can have a, you can do a list of um, ideas you have, have had in the past and uh, put all of them out there and then later on just check which of them would be feasible or interesting for you. You could try your LinkedIn connections. I also have done apps like this. I saw that some people were having a very interesting content and that they did have an app for and that would be interesting for other users as well. So this is a great way for you to create something exciting and also that uh, more or less is already tested because if someone is doing great content and people are following it, it means that people are interested in the content. So you can also um, go for other network meetings. For example, there is Lunch Club. It's a great platform for you to interact with others and also get to know people that are in different, in different positions and uh, work with marketing or work in IT or work with development or work in like HR. Maybe they will bring you problems that you are able to solve with an app or and this can help you have an idea for your next project you could also read books like uh, i really love to read books but of course this takes time and you need some time to finish a whole book and but what i do every day is to read to listen to blinks 12 minutes Headway, like there are a lot of those audiobook apps that actually does do resume of books. And after you listen to them, sometimes you do have certain ideas and also they can give you a little bit of more content from that book. So when I listen to something that uh, I find that's very interesting, what I do is that I put that book in my list and it, this I will read for real, so read the whole book. But I think the resumes are very interesting for you to decide if this is something you want to read or not. And uh, this may bring you ideas as well. You can keep a journal of any idea you just have around. So you may be working, you may see someone frustrated with something, you may just be at home and someone is complaining about something that happened not to work. So ideas can come from every place and uh, don't think that your brain is good enough to remember them later on. I really tell you, you should keep this journal on because with the time we forget things and uh, it's it's quite difficult for getting everything into your brain and then later on just not having that idea that you thought was marvelous at one at some point. So sometimes I wake up from a dream and I had an idea in the dream and I feel so frustrated when I cannot remember anymore. So I always keep this journal also near my bed that if I wake up with an idea, I just write it down. Later on, I try to act on it or I put it in my journal or in a list. You can also do a to-do list and just of ideas. And another exercise that's quite interesting, you can just get a paper in blank and just try to generate ideas about certain subjects. So you can just think of a problem that you have or someone has and just put there everywhere that you could actually try to solve that problem. That's a great way for you to generate ideas. Two, create a Figma file. Yeah, I know that this seems easier um, said than done. And um, yeah, Figma is here. It's a product that's collaborative and you can work with others in the same file. You can, there is a lot of resource online that you can just visit 
not just in at Bravo Studio, but also at Figma channel. I think there is a lot of support for someone that wants to learn the tool. It's fairly easy compared with any other design software. You actually you have the power of many of those tools in just one place, working with vectors, also images, doing some um, effects. It's really an amazing tool and you should take care of learning a little bit of it if you want to do a, a good app yourself and also take care of this part that is the app design. So you can work in a team, you can create a workspace for you, it's free, you can work with another person in the same workspace and uh, yeah, just use the general knowledge that's out there and if you run into any problem, just go after a solution for sure someone have already passed for the same problem and you help you with a tip or you find a solution. Tip number three is for you to browserize your file. And again, like so, if you have done it using Figma or XD, that's totally fine. Both ways you can use Bravo and you can go about uh, this file that uh, has the Bravo master tag list and implement in your file. Be aware that there are a lot of templates on Bravo that you can take that are already like a sheet sheet, for example, that you can use to help you speed up the process and be aware of where it goes anything. Like there is also a plugin, I should add it here to the description below, like a, a plugin that helps you with the Bravo tags as well that was done and it's on the Figma community for free. So I think that's amazing content. I use it all the time. It's really excellent work. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these steps so far. So you have the first step, have an idea. Second step, create a Figma file. Could be also an XD file. Step three, browserize your file user using the master tag list or like a, you can also use the Figma plugin and you can also just use the Figma, for example, sheet sheet that you have on the community for download and speed up your process. Four step, bind your app to data. Today, I use most of the time just Airtable, but you can also use Google Sheets, you can use Sano, you can use different APIs, maybe you are not even creating content, so you could create a very good app uh, with all this kind of a database related uh, material. Can be come from Airtable, you create it yourself, uh, Google Sheet, you can also create yourself there. You can also automize uh, the work of some other uh, application, maybe your website, uh, you add something there and then you have automation done with Zapier or Integromat and then it adds something to the Airtable directly or to the, the Google Sheets. So, you know, there is a lot of ways for you to create data you just need later on to bind this data on Bravo Studio. You import your file from Figma or for Ad, from Adobe XD and later on bind with the data that comes from Airtable or Google Sheet that you need some translator to create the API with that content or a Sano, for example. Latest and fifth step publish your app. You know, it's very easy for you to publish your app on App Store and, and also on uh, Google Play. But you have to be aware or remember, remind yourself that you need some copy for it. It's a sales page type of, you need uh, maybe to create a video to you have to more traction and to also to attract more customers you have to have some very good images and think about the content of these images, maybe add some uh, 
bring screens that are very useful and show what your app does. So try to take very good care of those. So a publishing an app is not simply just go there and add the EPR file or APK file. It's really about you taking care of the whole store, thinking about keywords, key, thinking about search op optimization and all of those steps make it even more important for your app to grow and have more users in the future. So that's it. I hope you have liked the five, the five steps for you to design and publish your app. And I hope to see what you are going to publish right now. So if you want to start an app or you are in the middle of the process or you just published it, let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you and to see what you have been creating. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to like this video too. Let me know if you have any questions or if I missed any step that was important for your process to publish your app. If you are part of the summer camp, you probably saw yesterday the workshop I have done to help you plan your app. If you didn't yet, just subscribe. This is happening until September and you have here a great opportunity to start from idea and go to your app published by the end of September. Do you like the idea? Come and join us. Click in the link on the description below. That's it for now. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye.